uh, during the history, uh, the people lived to uh, used to uh, worship the deities uh, like uh, feminine uh, energy, and uh, but at some point uh, it start to shift to to worship the masculine, not the feminine. So what happened? What was the shift and why? It all changed about two thousand years ago, forcefully, not by chance. <clears throat> you heard of over six million women burnt on stake in Europe over a period of some, some two hundred years or so, little over two hundred years. Over six million women were burnt as witches in Europe alone. Yeah, yeah. When they gain momentum, because these are all women who had some capability. Once they have some capability, people will gather around them. Once people gather around somebody and find solutions, you cannot organize your project. <laughs> so, they gave them the most horrible punishment of being burnt alive, so that this will go down. But still it lived for over two hundred years, they had to kill a few million to put it down. So the feminine expressing anything, phew, it's gone. Probably India and a few other Asian countries are the only countries where still feminine is under worship. Otherwise, if you look at the ancient temples in Europe, Arabia, everywhere, they're full of goddess temples. What is the significance of this? Is it just about gender business? No. It is about viewing life in a more balanced way, which is most important. It's not about man versus woman. It's about seeing life more holistically, not in a skewed way. It's a terrible history, last sixteen hundred years. As far as women are concerned, last sixteen hundred years have been one of the worst times in the history of humanity for women. Yes, believe me. I hope it gets better in the coming year. <laughs> and women are not some strange creatures. They are our mothers, wives, sisters, daughters. This is what they are. They are not some strange creatures.